Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Sarah and today I am excited to share with you our recent eBay sales. And if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get more of our reselling videos. <laughs> Follow us on our journey. Um, so today we are gonna show you our re most recent eBay sales. It's not great because for the past few weeks, like about a month I think now, well, it feels like about months we have not really been listening as much because James has been in and out of hospital appointments. Then it was my birthday and we had a party and then we went away for a few days. So we have kind of let it slide a little bit on the listing, but we do have over 2000 listings up and we are still getting the sales. So we are gonna go show you our thumbnails and we will give you an update on everything that has sold. So this week's total sales were £744.12p. We sold a total of 49 items and the average sale price was £15.19. We got an eBay payment <laughs> of £530.97p and the postage cost, because we do free delivery, was £151.90. The total cost of goods were £58.65 and the average cost of goods was £1.19. So that gave us a profit of £320.42p. <laughs> <laughs> Our average sale price was £1.19 per item and first up was this Madness t-shirt which sold for £15 oh, There you go, me. <laughs> oh you're in short seats now Yeah I forgot, I was <laughs> daydreaming So this Pro Quip Golf Polo shirt went for £12.99 and I think this was of a pound <laughs> or £8 pence. Probably £9.99 or £8 yeah, yeah. And this came from my favourite chat shop, Chest Heart Stroke, and it cost 99 pence and it sold for 15 and it's brand new in tags. I thought this might have sold in the autumn, but it actually sold recently. Yeah, now we've got nice weather. Next up is this Thomas Nash shirt. Uh, it was 10 99 and I don't know how much it cost us. 80 pence. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is a really nice top. Um, I showed a friend this top and he says I priced it too high, but it's brand new in tag tags it was slashing just slashing just polo shirts don't sell for a lot but it was a really nice like colour and print. Mm. I don't know if you can see it's like three stripes through it. Yeah. And I listed for twenty and it sold for twenty. Mm -hmm. So Yeah and it's actually yeah. nicer than the picture even shows. Yeah, I liked how bright it was. It's nice it was and colourful. Yeah. So that sale did surprise us a little because we did thought we did thought we did think <laughs> it wouldn't sell us for as much. Yeah. But nineteen ninety nine. Mm -hmm. Uh but in polo shirt Big size, so always a good seller. This was a 3XL, but we put it down as a 3. Did we put it down as a 3? No, you didn't have a top. Huh? That is a big, was it 54 to 56 inch chest? I was looking at that, that looks like 40 me. Wow, <laughs> I really do need to wear glasses more. <laughs> <laughs> so this went for 14 Ooh. We've <laughs> actually had a few pair of these. <laughs> yeah, we don't iron it. <laughs> we do wash it, but we don't always iron them. It too, takes too much time. Yeah. Um, these vintage decks. I have do I think we have two three pairs of them, don't we? Mm -hmm. Something like that. And these sold for thirteen pounds. Again, these are only cost eighty pence. Yeah, we got good feedback on them yeah. as well. We've got this is one of our hat pickups. We have two big massive bundles of hats, I think, that we bought. This was seventy nine P and it turned into nine ninety nine. Yeah, the reason we sold it for nine ninety nine is it's got some stains on the front as you yeah. can see there. And I think there's rust or corrosion yeah. on the back, so happy to get ten pounds back for that hat. And this is that like wrestling hat. I am phenomenal. Trucker mesh cap, and that's over thirteen pound. Oh, I love this one. <laughs> you can tell this was one of my pickups. It was nine p, and it went for ten ninety nine. And it's super dry, which people like, it doesn't always sell, but we sell a lot of super dry. It seems to go for us. And a Wrangler shirt sold for thirteen pound. Nice, just a plain blue check print, isn't it? Mm -hmm. This was brand new and tagged. This was an 80 pence pickup and it went for 16.99. We actually had two of these. I think both actually have sold. Now. Yeah, so quite fast with the white one as well. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I've got the silvery one. I think we had a used one that might you might be thinking as well. Right. This Pearl Jam t shirt, um, double sided print, sold for 14 pounds. Do you know I took this picture and I don't actually remember that? <laughs> I was like, look how he did. Yeah. <laughs> Sarah usually takes these photographs like that. But I always go on Canva and mm. if it's double sided, put it on the front screen. I just hope sometimes 
think I pray, I pray somebody actually look properly and don't think they're getting two t-shirts yeah <laughs> <laughs> so a Vanquish fitness t-shirt and it went for fourteen eight nine. and I don't know what size it is medium medium so a lot of these big. prices do say like fourteen ninety nine. we do send usually 5% offers out mm-hmm. so they could be a little bit lower than what we're saying so far so again, it's slashing your top, and it's over ten pound. Like I was saying before, slashing your tops don't sell for much money, and it, this is a four XL, mm-hmm. and eight pence and ten pound. Yeah. These were given to us when um, a family friend moved house, so they were having a clear out, and I thought, oh, they're never going to sell because we feel like we've had them for ages. We hadn't even had them that long, but they went for twenty five pound, size three, or I'd have stole them myself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And this was a recent trip to Kirkcaldy where the whole charity shop was 99 pence and we picked up these Kurt Geiger velvet shoes, size 6, and we sold for 12 Is that where they came from? Yeah. Hmm. Cool. Did not know that. <laughs> Ooh, sorry. So this is a Pittsburgh Steelers jersey, 2XL. It's really big made and a lot sold in this video. It got returned because yeah. the guy says it was far too big. So it's a US size 2XL. Yeah. I but, thought the whole point was the But they tops are meant to go over like yeah, the equipment. It, equipment yeah. yeah. Shoulder pads or whatever but it was a really big size and we had to pay a return of £30. This is the back of this top because the front is just plain white with a couple of buttons but we advertised it with the back because the back is very very cool and I don't actually know where this came from. Probably. I can't remember. A pound, but, but in our school we do put how much you paid for each item? Yeah, it just doesn't pop up on this. <laughs> oh, this is a gutted. top that say light. We got yeah. this from our local St Andrew's charity shop mm-hmm. um, in the Clearnsville. It was 99 pence, wasn't it? A pound. Yeah, a pound. Well, one pence off. <laughs> a pound. And we did have it listed a little bit more, but we dropped the price gradually and it sold for 15 quid. I know, lucky buggers. Look at the hole, holes in that. I know, but it's so cute. <laughs> I was hoping there was enough weight before it sold so I could steal it back. <laughs> Uh, so another one of our caps, Lake Placid, and this went for twelve ninety nine. I remember Lake we were young. We watched that movie. Yeah, <laughs> all I can think of is the giant crocodiles. Yeah. <laughs> it's a a western style pearl snap Levi shirt, and I'm not sure if it sold for twenty or eighteen, but it sold anyway. Yeah. I wish it would pop up with a slash yeah. telling us we've done an offer. I am falling off here. See, some of your baseball cats that we pick up aren't in the best condition. You can see around that there's a like brown stainage, but it sold anyway. Yeah. 13 quid. <laughs> yep. Again, this is one of the bundles. You're going to so fall off all yeah. yeah, I feel like I'm going to fall off. <laughs> Sitting on my knee. I think you're moving on purpose, I'll fall on my butt. You're the one that's swinging at me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so sometimes if we buy in bulk or from wholesale or get job lots online, some of the stuff that comes isn't always the best, so you're buying it for one thing but you get some like, cheaper makes. So we just bundle them together with sizes and bung them up so we can get them shifted and this one sold for £13. So this bundle probably costs us about £2, £2.40 and we sold it for 13 Yeah, I like that pure t-shirt, it's cool. Again, another £79 baseball cap and we sold this Philadelphia Phillies. For twenty pound, it's a nice colour pink that one. Mm-hmm. Another new and tagged. I love new and tagged when we pick them up, especially when they're cheap because I feel like they would go better. Um, and even though it's Blue Harbour, it's a really nice shirt. But we sold it for seventeen ninety. And also, if you do pick up Blue Harbour shirts, they're made by Martin Spencer. Also, Martin Spencer on the title because mm-hmm. Martin Spencer is a bit more well known than Blue Harbour. Yeah, see, love how I put the tag right in the front so you can see it was new tag. <laughs> yeah, <I'll> see that. <laughs> so next up is another Marks and Spencer shirt, and it's pink, and it's over thirteen quid. Oh. I'll be eighty pence pickup. Yeah, Ooh, I love these. Well, they were weird rose colour, weren't they? Like... Yeah, James was like, I'm not keeping them. <laughs> He's like, I'm not wearing pink trousers. And we have two of these. We have this colour, and I don't know if we sold them, but we also have like a brighter pink version, which are really nice. I'd be lucky if I, if I waste 30 it would fit me. <laughs> <laughs> and these old for 9 99 This is a pick up from Bullfine, so these cost one pound thirty five. We've now sold a few items we um, bought off him, he was doing 99 mm-hmm. pence auctions, and these sold for 15 quid. 
Oh, dreaded cycling jersey yeah. that we bought forever ago we and bought, we still have. We bought two bales <laughs> and we've nearly completely sold. Oh no, actually, we've not really. <laughs> we haven't even sold like half oh, of it. Well, There's like 40, four tops yeah. sitting. Yeah, that's been building 40 tops. You probably get a couple, few hundred in a one bale. There's more than 40 of that shit. I've still got a bale in there. Yeah. Corner, if you ever see a living room, it's hiding under a blanket. That's, <laughs> that's sold for 9 99 <laughs> Again, in our one of our bundle sets, um, we just put these together because they were the same size and they're both green. And I really liked the hoodie one because I just love how bright and luminous it is. I put the two greens together because I thought it would make them sell better rather than putting a green and a black or green and yeah. a blue. So, two yeah. different shades of green. Well, you've got to get me a still for over here. <laughs> 14 quid. So, Gantt shirts we usually sell for £25. Um, I have been bidding on Gantt shirts in eBay recently, but I've won none of them. <laughs> <laughs> and this Gantt shirt 3XL Oxford style um, so for £25 you're in so much trouble grasping you selling you know that I showed you you just made me a little sieve yeah <laughs> so this Hugo Boss uh, went for £15 it's an extra large and it's lovely pink um, this is just a workwear top it's probably stained or ripped or mm -hmm. something tassels are ripped here it's got marks, discolouring, a bit faded in it. Yeah, so this cost price was zero. Yeah, because we got a refund from mm -hmm. a very poor wholesaler. Yep. And it's all for ten ninety nine. Normax, we seem to be selling a lot of Marks and Spencer on this one. So this one is extra large, pink and blue, just the stripy one. Yep. In case you wonder what cup I've got, it's Mrs. Brown's boys. I don't even know if I'm holding it up too high. <laughs> I can't even see myself. <laughs> I can see my face, so there we go. <laughs> And next up is just a pair of denim co skinny jeans and these sold for £13. Super dry again. And they went for 20 Oh, and this was cute. That was just a kind of, I like to print this top, I can't really yes. see it there, but it was like a geometric print on it. Yeah, it's cute it's when they and cold And this cost £99 from Chest Heart Stroke and it sold for £12. Mm -hmm. I call this the Jamesy jacket because it reminds me of Jamesy for Rab seen as bit and it went for thirteen pound. I think didn't this go abroad? Yeah, I think they paid forty pound shipping, and then you had eBay taxes. It was near enough seventy pound for a Primark blazer, yeah. which was a bit surprising. So it's made its way to America. I think it was New York it went to, mm -hmm. and it was the apartment right beside the what you call it gardens. The big grassy bit in the, <laughs> like in the middle of New York, top. right on the edge of the apartment it was. So that's, the choice. that's two people were sold to on the edge yeah. in New York. It'll come to us after we finish filming. <laughs> so we've been selling quite a bit of gold stuff recently because the weather's been changing. Um, so this Callaway jacket for £20. A vintage, see, more Max and Spencer. I didn't realise we sold that much Max and Spencer stuff, but... This is a vintage St. Michael's and it went for nine ninety nine. It says acceptable condition, so there must have been a mark quit or something or it was just because it was old. Well it was old, just didn't feel properly well, acceptable condition, I can't figure. figure you don't why. even know why. Oh it's there. What oh it's got a little it's got a little tear. Hopefully the person will be able to sew that and it went for ten pounds. Mm. Again, night t shirts are selling better than any other t shirts for us, so we've got like Nike, Adidas, Fila all the different sports brands, yeah. but the night ones seem to not hang about that long, but the other ones do hang about. Yeah. And that's not for a fair team, is it? <laughs> yeah. So we've got Woody. He's got computer games from that wee church sale. Yep. And I sold this one sure. in the past quite a few times, although yeah. we took a break from... Computer games, but then we picked yeah. these up for JJ and he's like, oh I don't need them. So, here yeah. have them back. <laughs> so, £15 it from 58 pence, can't mod. This is a top. Did you buy this yourself? This one? No. No. So this came for chest up stroke, 99 pence, I don't and think this did. 13 pounds. It's peacocks, I went and picked that up. This must have came for a wholesale or something. Are you sure? Oh. We did That's buy a whole right. load from an eBay to a person. You're right, this came for the wholesale and this cost 70 something pence. Yeah. I remember now, yeah. It's all 13 quid. A brand that we pick up if it's 99 pence or under, or a pound or under. Yeah, Penguin. Yeah, we usually get the wee jumpers, we've sold jackets before. Flip flops. Yeah. Yeah. 
And this long sleeve polo shirt sold for 15 quid. Yeah. It's wonky, it's drunk. <laughs> And this one is George, but it's linen, and linen is a good seller, and it went for ten ninety nine. A lot of people won't pick up George because it's just as the George, but they do sell. Yeah. If you can buy them cheap enough and price them cheap enough, they do go. Mm. So we bought a lot of these bags, <laughs> yeah, a lot of Kipling so bags. We paid between five and ten pounds. Yeah. And we sold quite a few at the start, but then they just seemed to slow right down. But mm. they're starting to pick up again, and I think they've sold three. Kitlin bag? No, two Kitlin bags two recently. recently yeah. So this one and a Burgundy one, but this um, bag went for £35 and we got some nice feedback for it as well. Yeah. Gap Premium Jeans. These went for £15. Don't really sell that much Gap. Yeah, Gap's look similar to Next. Quite similar uh, slow. range, yeah. Mm. Can be a slow seller. For us anyway. And another one of our bundles. We He's should actually do a video just showing you all the shorts we sold because usually in the summer we can sell quite a lot of shorts. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so these were probably about 80p and they went for £11. These are on the F and F and Xantos, but the blue ones are like little sealer anchors. Yeah, so cute. Oh, our last item. Oh, love it. But it was too big and I think we picked it up for 19p because I love the military style, they're so cute. And it went for £15. So every time on the chat shop, Sarah's looking for a military style blazer. Mm -hmm. And every time I find one, not even too big or too small, she's not found her size yet. <laughs> yeah. I'm not having any luck. It's probably because it's saying Sarah, live in the wardrobe you actually own. Just lose the weight and use the clothes <laughs> you own. Yeah. So we probably won't do a sales video until maybe for another two weeks. You know what we catch up now? Oh, we're way but Your sales are just like tanked big time. Oh, yeah. Yep. We could do a sales video next week, but lucky for me, £200. <laughs> yeah. It's just been so bad because um, I ended up in the hospital for my bicep um. and my shoulder, and then I'm in the hospital in my chest, mm -hmm. and then we went away for three days, wasn't it? Something like that. Friday to Monday, and then yeah. we had my party. So it we says 40th. That. So we've been, <laughs> we've been really busy, but when you get back into your listening again. Mm -hmm. And then I got laryngitis and couldn't speak. Oh, yeah, she couldn't so speak. So I was too sick to do so any work. So for about 10 days, she couldn't speak. <laughs> She's yeah. got chronic laryngitis because mm -hmm. of the dusty clothes. Yeah. It's awesome. See? <gasps> Cheek. This job is killing me. <laughs> That's killing my <laughs> team neck. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's in so much trouble goodbye. when I say goodbye. <laughs> you might want to drag this out so I don't do you in. <laughs> so that is it for this video. I hope you find it informative. I hope you find it <laughs> useful. And I hope you guys are having better sales days than us. Um, if you haven't already, think about subscribing and smashing the thumbs up and come back and see us again next time. Anything you want to add? I'm not going to the next video. Yes, you are. It's quite annoying yes, me this is. moment. I'm I know. Oh, sorry. See? Right. I'll damage you, you if you don't. Bye. <laughs> Bye.